guys, how are you doing? Good morning or good day. <laughs> it's um, another adventure. This is a big adventure actually, this one today. So I'm actually heading back to the Philippines uh, to Cebu to uh, see my beautiful wife again after a few months apart. We got back in early June last time. So I'm taking a bus from, uh, from Camberley town where I live. There's a bus that goes straight to uh, Heathrow 5, Terminal 5, and then from there I'm going to be getting um, shuttle, it's a shuttle, yeah, shuttle train to, I uh, need to be at Terminal 2 uh, for Turkish Airlines flight this evening. So it's via Istanbul. So, yeah, come on me with it, come, come with me on this journey. a bumpy ride <laughs> just on the bus alone let's not even talk about the flight at the moment but um, uh, yeah because Britain's roads are in a bit of a shambles actually so yes, uh, potholes everywhere and uh, yeah, I think I talked about that in an earlier I won't get too much into the politics and stuff but yeah <laughs> it's, I don't think it's gonna get any easier anytime soon We're in Bagshot now, we're just going to be um, going on to the M3 shortly. And it's actually not that long. I mean, the, the, bus, the bus journey from, uh, from Camberley to, um, to Heathrow Airport to Terminal 5, I think it takes um, about 30 minutes or so, thereabouts. On a Sunday, it's probably, I don't know, not as busy as a weekday, but it's still quite busy. There's a lot of people out and about on a Sunday shopping and stuff. Sunday's just like any other day now. I mean, when I, when I was a kid, when I were a lad, <laughs> no shops were open on a Sunday. It was like, um, yeah, everything closed up. Um, it was more respectful, uh, you know, a day, a day of rest and a day, for, you know, for remembrance and stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, I used to work for um, uh, Waitrose. They're, they're an English English branch company. They used to do warehousing. Uh, it's around about, not long after I came out of the OEF, maybe 2000. Yeah, about 2000, 2001, something like that. Um, and uh, Waitrose were one of the last, if not the last supermarket, to, um, to succumb to opening on a Sunday, Sunday opening hours. And um, what it was was because they, they were a partnership with um, John Lewis, uh, big department store um, and they were they were open on the Sunday and, and I think they realized you know we're like Marks and Spencers and other uh, who they're in sort of competition with I suppose waitress you say because it there's quite a good um, quality stuff in that that they have and they, they realized that they were losing all this money by not opening on a Sunday so then they decided well we're gonna open on a Sunday as well so and now it's just the norm you know it's just like a no, uh, like a normal working shopping day, reduced hours.
cloudy day. Yeah, we've got a very cloudy day today, but it's uh, high, high up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You know, my zoom, the zoom on my phone is uh, on the camera is. I mentioned it before it's, it's a bit of a nightmare but, um, it's going to do for now but um, I'm, I'm on the lookout for a new um, a new phone with a better with a better um, with a better camera and the camera is good itself but it's just the, the zoom is very jumpy and uh, you, you'll have noticed that when I zoom in and zoom out it cuts out the sound as well which is no good is it <laughs> anyway I mean, I'm I'm toying with the idea of going on to going to, to get an Apple to get an iPhone, but I've never had iOS. I've always I've always had uh, Android phones. And uh, somebody I was talking to somebody a friend the other day, and they said actually they're very very user friendly. Um, so I don't know. I'm not so sure about it, but. a bit space age, isn't it? Let's do that again. So we're coming into terminal, this is terminal five. Right? So that's the bus I was just got off. I've got my find my way now to uh, Terminal 2. It's the shuttle train. I'm allowing plenty of time anyway. My flight's not till uh, seven. My flight's about half past seven to Istanbul. I'm just gonna go and have a look. That's oh, arrival. That's arrivals there, not departures. I've got to make my way, find the shuttle bus to Terminal 2. Okay, follow the signs to Terminal 2, 3 and 4 via free train transfer. So I'm waiting for a lift to get the uh, free train transfer to Terminal 2. It's, uh, it's busy. Well, it's, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is, does it, at Heathrow, I suppose, but Sunday. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
He told me I didn't need a ticket. You do? You're a degree driver master to go to people on the shuttle? These days, so uh, I'm on the shuttle bus now. On the way, we'll be going shortly to Terminal 2. Turn to Shenfield so via Heathrow, you know, Terminal 2 and Terminal 3. I don't know. Guys, a little bit of information. This is the Elizabeth Line again. Remember when I went to when I went to Slough? It was on the Elizabeth. Was it Slough? Yeah, I mean, on the Elizabeth Line. I had a bit of time to my family, but not much massively. So it, it's it's fine. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll come to that instead. I'll do it on the only day. I'll probably when I'm at West Ham. So uh, don't think about that. This is an Elizabeth Line service to Shinfield via Heathrow as if, Terminals 2 and 3. As if to uh, just reiterate that. God bless mum. Mind the gap. So I guess we're going this way. No signs to tell me where um, where two is. Is Terminal Two this way, mate? Yeah, thank you, boss. Terminal 2 
we're getting there <laughs> we're getting there guys Whew. and then i'll be signing off for a bit because uh yeah i got that whole deal with the check-in and stuff so yeah uh, uh, take the travelator yeah let the travelator do the work actually Still we keep going. Takes a load off a bit though. Elizabeth Line and the Heathrow Express. Just uh, keeping you guys in the loop. In case you need to take this journey, ever. Okay, so finally we're getting to Terminal 2, but it's so warm in here. My God, they must have the heat in. I don't know what the temperature is, but like, ah, oh my God. I was getting ready for the Philippines now, well, anyway. <laughs> Terminal 2, the Queen's Terminal, I forgot about that. Yeah, I traveled um, when I went to Australia in 2018. Came from here, yeah. Uh, God bless you, ma'am. Harry Ball Queenie. God bless you, Queen Elizabeth. You were a good queen, actually. She was a good queen. Welcome to London. Not for long. I'll be gone, and it'll be. Istanbul and then it'll be uh, by the Lord's good grace and it'll be um, <laughs> then it'll be uh, Manila and Manila, Manila after about 16 hours 18 hours maybe I'm not sure exactly how long the flight is from Istanbul and then Manila it's, the plane's got to refuel so it's just going to be sat on the um, sat on the pan while while it refuels and then an, and then an onward journey to uh, Cebu from there which is only about an hour or so from Manila. Two, two, five escalator. Take your time, automatic doors. Hey guys, so yeah, I'm here. Terminal two. Uh, Got to go through the check, the check-in now, and uh, all that passport control, security, and everything, all that business. So um, see you guys on the other side. It'll be on, on the next film. Yeah, part two of my um, London to Cebu adventure. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining me. As always.